This this how delusional. This how delusional these people is, in in the court systems. This how delusional it is. They say they say crazy things like this. Your lawyer. They say, first they send your lawyer in there to to ask you, did you do you want to do you want to plead guilty? You say, no, I ain't about to plead guilty. Woo, do, woo, do, woo, do, woo. Cause nine times out of ten, your war, your lawyer is working with the system. Mm. So when he come in there and tell you, listen. Man, take the take this deal, take the deal because what, what really what he's telling the really what he's telling you is I already cut a deal with the prosecutor for you to take this deal. So if you don't take this deal and we go to trial, they're gonna bank your dumb ass again in the corner pocket. You see what I'm saying? So it's best to just take the deal. If your lawyer come in there, take the deal, man. Take the deal. Get the best deal that you can work out with your lawyer and take it. You know what I'm saying? So they send your lawyer in there and then he tells you. The lawyer tells you, uh, listen, you're guilty. Uh, ain't nothing you can do. Woo -do, -woo -do -woo. You're going to jail. You're going to prison. You be like, okay, cool. So then he then he says, then he then he says some shit like this. We just want you to plead guilty to this. They don't care if it's six months, a year, two years, three years, ten years, twenty years. They don't give a damn about that. They want you to have that number. Mm. See what I'm saying? See, cause that number means dollar signs. When you get that prison number, that's dollar signs. You know what I'm saying? For the system. And that's one up on the lawyer's thing and the prosecutor, because you know the judge ain't nothing but an old lawyer or a prosecutor. So you gotta you gotta really be careful when you're dealing with these people. But they call it three friends and a stranger. So you hired this man, but you the stranger, fam. He, 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 he ain't working with you like that. Like you think he is. I don't give a damn what lawyer you got. He's not working with you like that. You know what I'm saying? Because the right price to change his whole mind on your case. If you give him 20, yeah, he cool. But if they saying, listen, I don't give a damn about that. You about to get a raise next year. You about to become a prosecutor. And your next step is a judge. Man, lawyer gonna flip on your dumb ass. Believe that. So they tell you, they tell you to come in there, they get your lawyer to talk to you to plead guilty. Now you got a couple retarded niggas that don't plead guilty. Oh fuck that, they ain't got no one on me. Nigga, they cheat. Whether they got something on you or not, nigga, they cheat. And they cheat your ass, nigga. They cheat niggas every fucking day. They cheat, they, 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 that's what they do, they cheat. When they can't catch you, they don't have no choice but to cheat. That's the only thing, when they can't catch you, and they've been wanting to catch you for years, all they can do is cheat. But anyways, they, 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 uh, they ask you to plead guilty, this, that, and the third. So, I mean, they, they send your lawyer in there to holler at you. When your lawyer, when you when you going there with your lawyer or whatever, you know what I'm saying, your lawyer gets you to plead guilty or whatever, then they so crazy. This how this how delusional they is. After they get your lawyer to talk to you, the next day y'all go in there, the judge asks you this: Did anybody threaten you? Did anybody offer you anything? Did you take any bribes for this plea? Your lawyer is gonna tell you, say no, say no. When really your lawyer just fucking threatened you and told you, listen, if you don't take the plea, you're go if you don't take this two years, you're gonna get nine. Mm. So at the end of the day, then you take the plea. It's like it's like they're using. It, they, I don't know. I wouldn't even call this reverse psych college. I wouldn't even call that that. I would call this is the mastermind of deception and delusion. What they doing? What they doing in, in the court systems? You know what I'm saying? And, and it's foul, because even when I was down, even though when I was down, when I got to prison, you know, I asked, I asked other people. I asked other people. I, like, we, you know, I talked to niggas about their cases and shit. These niggas so down there, they so fucking stupid. These niggas in the joint, them are some of the most creative, smartest, retardedest niggas I ever met in life. I mean, these niggas can start fire from batteries. I mean, I can't even do that. You know what I'm saying? But they, but they do, but, they, but down there, they tell you like this, when I tell them about my ins and outs of my case, I said, man, they didn't have no gun. How the fuck do you charge somebody with weapons under disability with no gun? I got charged like two times with that joint, with, with no gun. Like, it's just crazy. Niggas say, oh, because they had, they say, they probably said they had a witness. I said, yeah, they had like 20 witnesses though. Let's see, my lawyer, my lawyer told me, this what my lawyer tell me. Now my first lawyer was just a straight, just a straight, he was just, I don't even know where, where they, he was black too. I couldn't even believe him, he just, Ooh, it was a sad case. You know, my first lawyer, he did something that was so immaculate and simply amazing. Like, he went in there and made a plea without me even being present. I was like, damn, you made a plea? Like, dog, like, 
come on, I'm grown as fuck. Like, I didn't tell you to do that, yo. Like, how you gonna do that? And then he come back and tell me some shit. Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. He was so raw. Then he, then I, then I had to go, I had to literally talk to him on the, through the glass, on the phone through the glass. And I told him, I said, check this out. I said, listen, I told him this in the glass. I said, motherfucker, take the plea out. He said, no, no, no. I said, motherfucker, take the plea. Man, a nigga, I ice show dumb ass, man. And that's for real. Nigga, you playing on my wife. Nigga, my mom ain't about to do this time. Nigga, I'm about to do this. I don't give a fuck. Well, who, who said what? Take the fucking plea out, yo. He said, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Take it out. He was so grimy, he never even takes the plea out. He lied and said, first he, first he lied and put the plea in on his own. Then he lied and said he took the plea out. Then he told me when he came and see me, this ain't even my call. So the money I paid you, if this ain't your call for this plea or whatever the case may be, how in the fuck do I plan on winning with you? I mean, they, they called me in there trying to get me to like tell them what happened and what happened at the time. I'm like, man, listen, I don't even know what the fuck y'all talking about. Take me back to my cell. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't even know what the hell y'all talking about. You know what I'm saying? So he tell me he take the plea out. Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. He flashed him. He was so grimy. He was so greasy. Greaseball, motherfucker. Greaseball, dirty motherfucker. Motherfucker signed the papers or whatever. And flash in my face. I took the plea out. But now he think I'm stupid. He think I'm some fucking retard. You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you, now, mind you, I didn't hire this. I didn't hire this guy. I'm in the hole. I don't have access to none of my bread. I don't have access to nothing. Nothing. So, only thing I got is 23 and 1. 23 and 1. Meaning, I'm in a cell this goddamn big all day from here to here to here. I was in that motherfucker for six months. That's 180 days flat. 80 days plus. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have access to nothing. Nothing. Three hots and a three hots and a cop. I mean, most motherfuckers die back then. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers kill themselves. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of people kill themselves. You know what I'm saying? Back in the hole, they just come find them dead or whatever the case may happen. You know what I'm saying? It was times in there when I was in the hole where I got, I stood up and just fell down, dizzy, hit my head. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't been doing nothing but eating nothing but sweets and junk food and whatever they putting in my juice. Who knows what they doing in that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, without the Most High, I don't know where the hell I would be. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my faith runs so strong. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been in situations where I've been in situations and I ain't seen no, ain't nobody else been in no crazy situations. But I've been in situations where, I mean, I ain't no coming back out of this. How do you get out of that? Then you bounce back up in the hood and then you get niggas in your hood that say, oh, this nigga crazy, this nigga this, this nigga that. You know what I'm saying? That nigga retarded, blah, 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 blah. But I'm flyer than damn near all them niggas.